Okay, I've just ordered the Stadia Founders Edition, even though it's getting a lot of negative comments. In the UK, the price is £119. Uh, so for that, I'll get a Chromecast Ultra, a Stadia Founders Edition controller, three months Stadia Pro, and also three months Stadia Pro for a friend. I like the idea of 4K gaming at 60 frames a second, but I really like the idea of 1080 60 frames for free in 2020. If the content available is good, I'll be able to play next-gen games without buying a £400 plus console. Depending on how good Stadia is, I can sell my three months friend pass or use it with another Gmail address to give me six months. By then, the service may be free. I was planning to buy FIFA 2020, but unfortunately Stadia support is not showing up on EA's official website. Cyberpunk 2077 looks interesting, but on the official website there's no mention of Stadia, even though the Stadia promotion videos feature it a lot. I'm interested in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Trials Rising, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and plenty more games that are listed as being compatible with the Stadia platform. I'll be happy to go over to 1080 60 in 2020. I'll be able to use the free service Stadia Base for all the games I've purchased. I won't be able to play the games I had free with Stadia Pro subscription, a bit like the way Games for Gold works on Xbox, but if I love a game, I'll buy it. Unfortunately, Stadia Base won't work on TVs with the Chromecast Ultra. You have to be paying for the Pro version to use Chromecast Ultra and Stadia, but it will work on a low-spec PC plugged into my 43-inch 4K TV. So if the service works well at 108060, I'll probably sell or trade in the Chromecast Ultra, but keep hold of the controller because it will still be useful when using it with my PC. These are the Google Stadia system requirements on PC. Uh, it's very low, 4 gig of memory, uh, graphics card Intel HD 3000, uh, CPU Intel Core 2 Duo E6400, uh, and uh, the file size is only a gig, and it's Windows 7 or higher. Stadia will work with an Xbox One controller, although it looks like it won't be as fast as the Stadia controller, as the Stadia controller connects directly to Stadia service instead of the PC. Requirements are 30 megabits per second for 4K60. I have around 35. I only need 20 megabits per second for 108060. GeForce Now works on my connection with an Nvidia Shield, and it's good, but even on a wired connection with my Nvidia Shield, the game occasionally freezes and often lowers the resolution to look very soft. It's not like playing natively on my Xbox One from 2013. Some games will only be coming out on next-gen platforms like PS5 or Xbox Two, so hopefully Astadia will give me good support for those games in the future. I'll be capturing game footage and recording my experience as soon as it arrives in November. So thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.